Well, winter time seems like a good time to revive another project that I can never seem to finish. So let's take a look at this and see if we can make a little bit of progress on it. Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man, and today I want to try to do a little more work to my 88 pedal tractor here that is an original, and a quite nice original, I believe, because it still has the original steering wheel and seat intact, which I've already taken loose. Uh, I got this thing the same time I got that 770. It came from the same place. It was in the same auction, and they'd had it since it was new. And I don't remember if it was advertised on the auction or not, but uh, it was in the barn, and when I saw it, I thought, well, that's got to go home with me too. So I made that happen, and for what I think was a reasonable price. If there's a lot of noise, I'm in the basement, and it's cold outside, and both furnaces are chugging away, so you may hear them kick on and off. I hope you can hear me over top of them. But anyway, I brought this down here as soon as I got it and started messing with it, and that is as far as I've got it. Uh, basically just carried it down here. I did get some stuff, and I guess I better take some of this uh, back off so I don't destroy it. Like I said, I got the steering wheel and seat loose, loose both original, not destroyed. It only had one front rim, but I think I'm going to end up buying all four wheels for it. And then if we save the old ones just for uh, historical purposes, I suppose. But uh, I started cleaning up on this side as soon as I got it. And I got most of the terrible paint off. It had nasty green paint on it and they obviously painted on with a brush or something at some point in its life because it was very well loved when I talked to the family. They said they practically rode the wheels off of it and I agree with that. I mean, it's pretty wore down. But, like I said, you don't see these come up for sale often and very rarely do you find them in what I consider to be this good of shape. Uh, it has no wear. I would assume that somebody put new bushings in around the pedals because they also welded uh, welded this up. And it's got this skip chain. If you've ever seen it, it's got like two rollers and then a space, two rollers and then a space, which I believe you cannot get anymore. And because of that, and because of the fact that these are in good shape, I don't think I'm going to take it in half to paint it. I'm going to try to just do it like it is. I do need to weld on this uh, front post because it's not quite right. But I'm going to get all the new stuff first and then see what i got to do. I can do that with this on here. I think it'll be fine. So that's kind of been my plan with it. I kind of hem-hawed back and forth about do you take it all the way apart and do it, you know, that way. That's probably the way you should do it. But like I said, you can't get that chain to my knowledge. Everything else is good. So I think I'm gonna try to do it like this and just make, make it work. Uh, I did notice when I took, if I can figure out a way to set you down here. Is it this side I took loose? Yeah. I stuck it back together to show you. But I believe there's supposed to be a bushing in the end of these, uh, whatever you want to call them, the fake axle extensions or whatever, the housing. So I need to call the toy supplier place and order that for each side. I'm going to order all four wheels. It's supposed to have hubcaps. Get those. And then the pedal assemblies that you'd actually put your feet on. You can get that. And then I assume they probably have decals too, which I'll need. But uh, otherwise, it's just been very tedious job of scraping. If I can move it around here. I'm working on top of a 
antique freezer, which has been in this house since I would assume Grandma and Grandpa got married. A co-op freezer, still chugging away. But it's probably going to rot through on the top before it <laughs> quits refrigerating. So probably should clean that up and paint it one day too. But for now, we're just going to keep working. I've been wire brushing by hand. I've got a drill with a wire brush. And then some of this paint is so sticky, I've been scraping it. I'm trying to do, you know, just enough where I can get the paint off, but not so much that I leave gouges in the aluminum, you know. Scratches are no big deal necessarily. The primer will take care of that, but if you make a deep cut in it, you won't get that out. And I was told on aluminum, self-etching primer, because that will help the paint adhere to the aluminum better. I hope this paint's still good. I bought it when I bought the pedal tractor. That was the first thing I got, because I figured I'd plug right through this project. And, you know, I think these things look neat when they're painted up like next year Christmas tree or whatever. So, anyway, that's kind of just been the process. It lived in a barn, I would say, most of its life, so it's got the usual dirt and mud. I actually washed it off before I brought it down here, but it's still got a lot of hard-to-get-off caked-on stuff, so it takes a little bit of scraping, and I want to get it done before it, you know, it's starting to get that where it eats into the aluminum, and I don't want that, so we need to, we need to plug forward with this project because it's definitely worth it and it's probably not going to have an automotive finish it's i'll do my best but you know if you don't like that then when you buy it on my auction when i'm dead you can repaint it however you please but i want to enjoy it you know if i have a niece or nephew come over i might let them ride it in the house if i'm feeling really really nice i don't know it definitely i won't let them take it outside but i don't know toys are meant to be enjoyed not just look at so that's kind of how, how i'm operating you can kind of see traces of the original paint it appears to me that this was meadow green because they switched colors on the disc brake fleet lines to meadow green and i'm thinking that the toy was meadow green from a lot of the pictures i've seen maybe i'm wrong i do notice that the casting is the casting that shows like disc brake housing so i would assume that this toy was made in the uh you know like the later fleet line era when they at the tr the real tractors had disc brakes you know otherwise why would they do that they did make an earlier version of this that had an open grill. In other words, the bars were open just like the real tractor, but I think a lot of them were getting busted out, so then they switched to this style, which is a little more rugged, but uh, the other one is really hard to find and expensive. This one, though, I've been offered quite a few bucks for it and haven't even done anything to it when people found out I had it. I've got a relative that collects pedal tractors and he's got everything under the sun and he told me he'd make me a good profit on it but i can't do that yet i want to enjoy it a little bit so i'm gonna fix it up and have it inside and look at it and you know hopefully enjoy it a little bit because i don't think i gave what did i give for it I'm gonna, it's probably gonna upset people when I tell them what I gave for it, because I think it was a good deal. I think I gave $300 for it, and I think that's kind of a steal as far as they go from the ones I've seen sell. And I didn't even know it was there at this sale. They had that 770, the power traction hitch plow, this, and they had a 116th scale Oliver toy, and I bought everything except that 116th scale toy. Some guy bid against me, and he was determined to have it. He paid, like, what I think was double of what you could buy them for on eBay. So, anyway, I didn't take that home, but I took home this and the tractor and plow. And I think out, out of all three, this was probably the most uh, valuable thing that I acquired. So, I don't know. 
it might be one of the more valuable pieces in my collection. I don't know. I guess the sky's the limit when you go to sell something, but I'm not much of a seller. I'm more of a hoarder, so like I said, when I die, you can all fight over it at my sale and make my relatives rich. But for now, it's going to live here with me. So I don't know that there's much more to record on this part. I'll probably pick it back up whenever I make some more progress because, I mean, how much can you stand watching a guy scraping on something? But anyway, this is something that I have really wanted to get done. And like I said, when the weather's bad, I usually sit in the basement and work on something. And so this is going to be it. And like I said, here's one original front wheel with the hubcap still intact. High dome hubcap. The tire was missing. This really is not a bad rim. You could clean it up and reuse it, but I think I will just go ahead and order two so that they match perfectly and then save all these pieces that I don't use for historical purposes, I suppose. And then, like I said, when you buy it on my auction when I'm dead, and you see these laying somewhere on a wagon, you make sure you tell them that goes with the tractor because I said so. So, anyway, we'll pick it back up as soon as I make some more progress. I'm going to keep trying to get this nasty, thick green paint off of it. So, I'll see you in a little bit. I guess while I have it this far, I'll show you some markings that I found on it. Here, of course, you see that it's made in USA. I wonder what part of Chinesia that is, but no, it's really the United States of America. Especially from this vintage, you can be sure of that. But on this side, I found that it has the marking. It has a number five stamped in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's the number five stamped on a slant there. And I don't know what that would be there for, you know? Maybe someone else out there knows. Did they serial number them? And this is number five? That doesn't seem possible because that is awfully low of a number. But I would be curious if anybody else has one of these and it has a number stamp there, what that number might be. So if you do, leave that in the comments because I'm always interested to learn things. So anyway, just a couple interesting things. I'm making progress, however slow. I'm sure that it's good to be inhaling all this fine lead paint, but I'm strangely tired and my blood feels heavy, but other than that, it's great. So, still a long way to go. Basically one side almost done, and this side, it's got a lot of that stuff hanging on, so I don't know. That's where we are right now. I joke about that lead paint, but that made me think of on that other 1365 video. Somebody left a comment that he couldn't believe that I grabbed and pulled that mouse nest out of the clutch housing with my bare hand. And, you know, he couldn't believe us Americans always, you know, grabbing mouse piss with our hands. So, I don't know what to tell you. You know us Americans, we cling to our mouse piss and our guns. So, that's just the way it is. Okay, so here we are a few days later. I've got it all cleaned up and primed. And I think that I'm just going to stop where I am. I did get all the bolts loose, so I could take it in two halves if I had to. But I think to paint it, I don't know. I can't take it all the way in two halves because this piece has been welded together underneath and that's what I don't want to touch. But I think after thinking about this, the first thing I'm going to do is paint the grill yellow and let it dry for several days and then mask it off and then paint the rest of it. So I think that's the procedure I'm going to do that I'll have the best results. I've seen all kinds of different ways of them painted when you see them but i found several pictures of originals and i believe that it's going to be yellow down here the grill and then the, the swoop down part there in the frame that would have the 88 in it and that would be the correct way to paint it rest of the body is going to be green 
and then the wheels will be red and I ordered all that stuff and I'll have to paint the wheels and assemble them with new tires and all that I could have probably used the original rims but I really don't see a need to do that I'll just save them so that I can say I have them but I think so that everything matches and is in nice shape I'll just get new I got all new rims and tires so that's what we're gonna do but I'm gonna mask this off with tape and then try to paint just the yellow well as per usual we're gonna ride the struggle bus on this but we'll let it get a little tacky and I'll probably give it another coat and see what it turns out like and then we'll pull the masking tape off and see we did a terrible job and then we'll work for half a day straightening that out and we'll go round and round and round and round until we finally get it where we think it's good but for now this is going to have to be where we leave it okay so here's what i came up with i got the grill all painted and it didn't turn out too bad uh i got a little overspray on this so might have to sand a little bit but i think that this turned out good and i might have to touch up a few places that i scuffed with a brush but overall i think it looks good i got the pedals painted and the axle i don't know if uh, they were supposed to be painted black or not but that's what i did and i think the plan from here is i'm gonna let this dry for several days this yellow so that when i mask it off it doesn't pull any paint off uh anyway i called and ordered parts so hopefully they'll be here in a week or so and then uh, we can get maybe putting this back together where it looks like a little toy tractor again so pretty neat and like i said these originals you very seldom find anyway and then one that's this nice with no broken pieces that's pretty pretty neat so hopefully it won't be long now as always, if you enjoy my videos, give them a thumbs up. That helps out the channel, and it doesn't cost you anything. Leave a comment. Tell me that you liked it, or tell me that you hated it. Tell me I'm a moron. I really don't care, but anything that you say helps us out too. So thank you again, as always, for watching, and I will see you in the next one.